Three minutes before the most important moment in human history, Apollo 11 almost failed. We've got a 12 As the Eagle lander raced toward the moon, a yellow master alarm lit up the cockpit. The computer issued a 1202 program alarm, then another. Mission Control <gasps> knew what that meant. The guidance computer was overloaded. At that moment, the landing should have been aborted. The person who saved it wasn't on the spacecraft. Her name was Margaret Hamilton. She was in charge of the Apollo Guidance Computer flight software at MIT. In the 1960s, NASA didn't take software seriously. They called it glorified typing. When Hamilton warned about human error, she was told, astronauts don't make mistakes. Minutes before landing, an astronaut did. A radar switch was left on, feeding unnecessary data into the system. The computer should have frozen. The mission should have ended. But it didn't. Because Hamilton had written software that could prioritize. When overload hit, her code ignored low-priority tasks and protected only what mattered, guidance and survival. The alarm stopped. The landing continued. Margaret Hamilton didn't just save Apollo 11. She changed how the world thinks about software. And one last thing. This is her, and she is the one who coined the name Software Engineering and proved its importance to the world. To learn stories like this, subscribe to The B-Side Studio.